Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're just going to be doing part two of the makeup collection. And this dresser I bought at Nebraska Furniture Mart. I don't have an Ikea around, so I don't have the normal storage that everyone else has with the Alex 5 uh, storage system. So I wanted something different. Um, that I could store my makeup in. Part one goes over what's on the top of my dresser. I do have a few MAC shadows that I'm waiting to depot and go into my MAC palette. So let's go ahead and get started. In this taller cabinet, I just keep some duplicates of items that I have. I keep some duplicate brushes and duplicate products that I've received in different holiday kits. I've gotten quite a few of these white Russian buxom products. They seem to want to put those in every kit, which I do like this product, but I just keep them in here until I run out of the other one. And I do have a couple of mascaras waiting for me. Um, my brush cleaner, a Z palette waiting to be filled until I depot some more uh, shadows, some samples that I need to use, um, Q-tips, that type of thing. So that's what I keep in that taller one. The top one, I keep blushes, highlights, bronzers, and powders. So in this particular one, I have my highlighters in the back. I have a Wet n' Wild. I have a uh, Corez highlighter. Um, I also have the Mary New... Oh, Mary Lu... Um, I cannot talk. Luminizer and the Hard Candy. Um, and then I also have a lot of the Tarte blushes because I do really like the Tarte blushes um, and some matte blushes as well. I do like those. I've got some more uh, Tarte blushes that I got at Christmas time, these smaller ones. I really like the Balm blushes and I got those. Um, I get a lot of these off of Hot Look, so I get those cheap. And then in the front, I keep my extra powders. So I've just got um, a MAC, I've got a Rimmel, another MAC one, um, I've got an Urban Decay one, and some loose ones. Then I do have a few of my foundations that I'm too light for right now because I've been spray tanning and those are too light for me so I'm just storing those. So in this particular drawer I just have different compacts. I have just a lot of miscellaneous items. I keep the um, pocket the floor pockets for any of my items when I travel. Um, I do keep the smaller MAC palettes that I can pop out my MAC shadows and put them in here when I travel. Then in this particular one is nothing but lashes. I'm determined to teach myself how to wear false lashes. So I've been stocking up on false lashes when I find them on sale. So I am going to be teaching myself how to use these and use these up. I'm not gonna buy any more until I learn how to use them. Then on the in the next drawer, a lot of these um, items just came in little sample packs or bundle packs. Um, so I have highlighters, I have um, eye primers here, so these are just little samples that either come with the palettes when you buy them, 
are in a set with some other items along with it. These are face primers or BB creams. I keep the smaller brushes here so that they don't get lost. And then concealers. So they're all different colors of concealers here. And um, even if I don't like them, I've kind of kept them here because I'll go back to them and try them again. In this smaller drawer is uh, some different palettes that I didn't put out on the top. I have two big MAC palettes. If you would like me to go over those in a video, let me know. I have a neutral palette and a color palette. These both hold 30 shadows. Those are both full. I have an Urban Decay. I have the Beautiful Creatures palette that came out when that movie came out. Um, a couple other, the Smoked palette. And some Wet n Wild palettes. Then this is mainly drugstore. I have lots of Wet n Wild palettes. If you want some very inaffordable um, palettes, Wet n Wild is how to go. These are like $1.99 or a dollar. Sometimes you can find them on sale. And these are great. Then also the Maybelline quads are really good to have too. I love these as well. A lot of these are limited edition that I have. Then the L'Oreal Infallibles are also really good. I have the a lot of the Maybelline color tattoos in the back and some balm. Um, no, they're not the balm. They're Benefit. Um, the cream shadows. And just some more individual shadows over there. In this particular drawer, I just have my plum and berry color lipsticks. I need to get some lipstick holders for this particular um, drawer. I kind of stole those when I moved them up on the top. Then I have more palettes in this particular um, drawer. So I have the 88 color palette. I have three of those. One's neutral, one's shimmer, one's something else. Then I've got several that I've depotted. And this one is my red lipsticks and also my peach lipsticks, which they're kind of showing red on the camera too. Then in my bottom drawer are my pink and my neutral, which I have the most of. So on the right side are all of my pink ones. And then it goes into my neutral colors. And if you want more of a look on any of these, just let me know. But this is how I organize all of my lipsticks. And then I have them turned up kind of so I can see what they are. And then these in the back wouldn't fit. They won't fit in these particular holders. So they're just hanging out in the back. And that is what I have in this dresser. And if you have any questions or you want to know any other details about anything that you've seen in the video, please let me know. Or if you want me to do any looks with any of the palettes that you've seen, let me know. Please subscribe.